Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Today we're talking about the Black Crows Atris. Um, such a fun ski. I had a blast on this thing this past season. It did really, really well in our test. Um, generally all of Black Crows seem to really delight in our, our actual ski test. Uh, we did a long form review of this ski, so I really got to know it quite well. And it's just super fun to ski. It definitely sits squarely in the soft snow, free ride, almost like big mountain category, but there's, I'd say, a surprising amount of versatility to it as well. Um, 2024 will be the second year for the newest version of the Atris, and I think the changes that they made to this ski for 2023 were awesome. Just made it a little bit quicker, a little bit more responsive, and a little bit more rewarding in, I'd say, every application. Um, some people I know are like a little bit bummed that they made it narrower. It's only three millimeters narrower underfoot. So that's like that much and really doesn't affect the float uh, in my opinion whatsoever. Maybe a little bit, but not like a noticeable amount. So super cool ski. Uh, similar to like the Captus and the Camex, I would say the Atris is built in a relatively simple way. Poplar wood core, fiberglass application in here. Kind of the, the cool thing or, or one of the most interesting things about the Atris is it's sort of like half cap and half vertical sidewalls. That's a little different than what we see in both Captus and Camex. Uh, Captus has full sidewalls, Camex has a little bit of a step down sidewall. So this ski is different than those um, and I would say that's designed to make it just a little bit looser. If you were to go full vertical sidewalls in a ski that this, that's this wide, it might just feel a little bit too locked in. Um, so super cool ski. It's not the lightest ski in the world with that construction, but it's certainly not the heaviest ski either. This is a 184.3 centimeter length and we are just under 2000 grams total. Um, and I think this might be the most, not surprising, but maybe people don't consider this about the Atris when they think about it. It's a pretty strong flex pattern. So I think a lot of time when you look at a ski like this, 105 underfoot with a twin tip shape, you would just automatically think that it's a more of a softer flex pattern. But the Atris is definitely designed to be a pretty darn stable ski. Um, which I think is important to remember. When we look at shape, I mentioned twin tip, um, but we are 100% a directional twin tip here. I think the mount point is eight centimeters back from true center. I'm pretty darn sure I'm remembering that correctly. So it's not like a ski that you would want to center mount or anything like that. Um, decent amount of tip rocker up here for a ski this wide. Sometimes you see more tip rocker, but I think this is plenty for a ski that's 105 underfoot. And then nice long tail rocker. That's really where we differentiate from even the Camex. You know, obviously we're bumping up, I guess, eight millimeters in waist width, and we're seeing a substantial increase in amount of tail rocker back there. Still a good amount of camber underfoot. And then this length has a 20 meter turn radius. So when it comes down to performance, I would say the Atris is like equal parts stable, powerful, and playful maneuverable, which creates just a really cool skiing experience. You can ski it fast, you can ski it aggressively, you can like let it run through choppy snow conditions, through challenging, demanding terrain, but then like here in the east or here in Stowe, Vermont, you can take it into some tight trees and the ski is pretty darn quick. Again, not the lightest thing in the world, but dropping that waist width down just a little bit and kind of giving it this updated flex pattern, I think gives the ski a lot more quickness and responsiveness in like tight trees around here. So that's a big reason why I think it's a more well-rounded ski overall. And then it still has like enough freestyle influence in its shape and design and overall skiing experience that it can act as like sort of a backcountry freestyle ski. If you wanted to, I do think you could move the mount point forward a little bit. I wouldn't go too far forward, but say you wanted to like 
have the ability to land switch in the backcountry or build a backcountry jump and take off switch. I do think this is a ski that can do that. We even see some of Black Crow's athletes using this ski. Um, they have a lot of choices. A lot of them gravitate to the anima for the same purpose, uh, but this Atris definitely works too. And if anything, you could justify owning both because there's a pretty big difference in width now between Atris and anima, and it creates definitely a difference in their feel and correct application. So great ski. I think for some it could be a dedicated powder ski, especially for somebody that lives like here in Stowe, Vermont or a similar place with a similar amount of snowfall for a skier out west. I mean, if it, like if I lived anywhere out west and you told me I had to ski in Atris and that's the only thing I could ski the entire season, I would be perfectly happy because um, this thing just, it's going to be a killer, just a, a pure weapon in kind of more open western terrain, regardless of whether you have a bunch of fresh snow or you haven't had a big snowfall in, in weeks. So, yeah, great ski. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we'll see you out there on the slopes.